2014 is the year when U.S. combat troops will come home after the longest war in American history. But as the troops prepare to leave Afghanistan, fears persist of leaving the war-stricken country in as bad shape as it was when the invading Soviet troops left Afghanistan 25 years ago. But no parallels should be drawn between the withdrawals, says Michael O'Hanlon of the Brookings Institution. And so there really are no parallels in how we got to the war in the first place or how we fought the war. And now the United States, as part of the coalition, is spending about five years on a gradual process of reducing its forces in Afghanistan, whereas the Soviets simply decided at one point that they had basically lost, and then they left. Afghanistan suffered from a bloody civil war after the Soviets left. But today's Afghanistan looks in a much better shape than it was in 25 years ago, says Ahmed Majid Yar, who is with the American Enterprise Institute in Washington. It's the first time that the Afghans have an elected government, while uh, during the Soviet time, the Afghan leaders were appointed by Kremlin. And second key difference is that the insurgency right now in Afghanistan is very much limited compared to uh, the uh, Mujahideen insurgency of the 1980s. Uh, there are perhaps about 20 or 25,000 uh, Taliban active fighters in Afghanistan, but during the 1980s that number surpassed uh, 100,000. The world has learned a very important lesson since the Soviets left Afghanistan. Michael O'Hanlon. Well, the first lesson the United States learned, I think it learned after 9-11, and that lesson was we cannot ignore or abandon Afghanistan because after the Soviets were defeated, we essentially stopped paying attention. And through the 1990s, the United States basically ignored Afghanistan and let it descend into sectarian conflict, anarchy, and then, of course, the rise of the Taliban. And then, of course, the sanctuaries uh, resulted from that. While the commitment from the international community remains important to help the Afghan government, the people of Afghanistan should be united to save the political structure they now have, says Majid Yar. The Taliban does not have that means right now to reestablish itself and recapture Kabul. So the real threat is not from a Taliban uh, military offensive after the uh, NATO withdrawal, but it is about the sustainability of the Afghan institutions itself. While some experts believe that there are no similarities between the Soviet troop withdrawal from Afghanistan and the U.S. troops drawdown today, they agree that the world cannot afford to let the country become a terrorist's safe haven again. Kokop Farshori, VOA News, Washington.